some videos. I thought I would show you guys the curriculum that we did for our homeschool year last year. I know everyone's probably finishing up school and summer break and no one's really thinking about curriculum right now, but now that we're done with school, I finally have time to sit down and film something. So I will show you what we did last year. Maybe it'll be helpful in planning next year if you haven't planned next year yet. I am still in the process of planning for next year. I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do. I just haven't written it all out and exactly planned it. But I think I know what I'm going to do and once I do know, I will share with you guys. So a few weeks or months ago, I don't really remember, I shared with you the Christian Light Education Math curriculum that I used for my first and second graders last year. So today I'm going to show you the math that I did with my kindergartners. And then next week I will show you our music appreciation course. And then I'll do phonics. And then I will cover our history. So I'm going to do like a little four part mini series and hopefully y'all enjoy. Kindergarten math I teach Rod and Staff. I've taught this through four children now and I've really enjoyed it. So this is the teacher's manual. This is workbook one, and Rod and Staff, this is actually a first grade um, book. The first grade comes with two workbooks, workbook one and two, but when I teach it for kindergarten, we only use workbook one, and we use numbers books. Um, this is number book two, there's also number book one, put out by Memoria Press, and then we have these practice sheets, which I will get to in a minute. Um, Memoria Press puts out a lesson plan guide to use Rod and Staff and Memoria Press together for kindergarten. Um, so you're really only teaching a few math lessons a day and then interacting with worksheets throughout the rest. Or I'm sorry, you're only teaching a few math lessons, like two or three actual math lessons a week. And then those off days you're doing the numbers book or various worksheets. So the reason I love Rod and Staff Math is because I feel like it is very foundational, it is very systematic, and it thoroughly covers the basis of math. Math is not my strong suit, so even though I understand kindergarten math, uh, it, I just like how it's laid out so I don't have to think through very much. I can just teach from the book. So they start with numbers. Most kindergartners would know their numbers already, but we review numbers. Um, there's usually a Bible lesson kind of correlated in it. Some days it's really forced, some days it flows naturally, like in Understanding Zero, it talks about how God created the earth and there was nothing, zero. Um, so they teach zero means nothing in the first lesson. Um, so they go through the first like nine or 10 numbers and they go through number order, in between numbers, before numbers, after numbers, less and more numbers, they have, you drill these little flash card, the little number pattern flash cards. Um, so here's all the preparation and board time. Use a chalkboard or a dry erase board or sometimes I would even just use scratch paper. And you would use the board time in your lesson and literally you just start at number one and it says counting so we go to a number line or a hundreds chart and we count and um, you know, you start by only counting to 10 and then to 20 and you slowly build up to your, at least to 100, maybe over 100. Um, reviewing number cards, so they drill a lot of flashcards, number patterns, it's a lot of drilling and review, but I feel like that, even though that could become mundane and a little bit difficult at times to stick to it, it really gives the foundation that your child needs for future grades. So you go through it and do the whole lesson. You would then give the child a lesson, and here's the lesson with the answer sheet. Um, and it's taken my kids anywhere from five to 20 minutes, depending on the beginning or the end of the book or their personalities on time to finish. But it was perfectly manageable for kindergarten. I don't feel like any of my kids struggled with this curriculum. And the thing that I love about this is it teaches very systematically your addition facts. They call them fact houses. So they make these little fact houses and we first drill and learn everything that adds up to one, which is zero plus one and one plus zero. And we drill that for, I don't know, it varies, um, probably at least a full week, depending 
um, on where they are. And they'll drill that over and over again during the class time with flashcards, with their practice sheets, and then they'll go to the twos family. And so they're drilling not only um, addition facts, but number order, less, more and less numbers to make sure that your child really understands their numbers. So they go through, I wanna say maybe seven, up to seven or 10 addition, and then they also go through subtraction later on in the book. And I'm only gonna show you up through lesson 85. I did teach this one year for first grade where you go through the whole, both of those, both of these workbooks. I think it's 160 lessons, maybe 170, something like that. Um, but I'm, for today, I'm only going to show you through 85 because that's what I'm teaching for kindergarten. So we go through bigger numbers. They introduce clocks and word problems, money. Um, let's keep going through and see some more. So here's practicing number, I'm sorry, learning word problems, learning larger numbers. Lesson 57, they're doing column addition and they're learning subtraction here. So let's go, there's clocks. Let's go up through lesson 85 and show you where they end off, where they leave off. So here, they so maybe they go through six, subtraction in the subtraction fact house, word problems, clocks, and I guess they introduce fractions, but they're only at the denominators. So, like I said, we only teach about two or three lessons a week from this book. And then throughout the rest of the week, they interact with their numbers book. I can't find numbers book one, but numbers book one would, is numbers one through 15. And then the second book picks up at 16. And it's just practicing numbers, patterns, shapes, um, counting. I mean, talking about top left corner, top right corner, bottom left, bottom right. So orientation, dot to dot, counting, greater numbers. It's talking about connect the number in the left column with the number on the right column that has the same second digit. So that's taking thinking skills to understand the directions. And it, it usually takes the kids a minute to figure this out. But then once it, they understand it and it clicks, they can complete the worksheet quickly. So. I like this because it, it gives a little bit more fun activities to introduce. The Rodham staff is very cut and dry. Um, some of my kids have thought it kind of boring, but when you're interacting and mixing it in with other things, I think that kind of gives it a nice break from the heavy, the heavy instructional and repetitive side of this is balanced out. And so it's really worked for us well. Here's number lines and then number practice. And then these worksheets. Um, I, I've used a lot of them already, you can see. So this is starting at worksheet 32, but it starts out with lesson one. And they, these are Rod and Staff and they correlate with the Rod and Staff book. So they're actually, this is would go with everything they did in lesson 32. So there's addition facts, subtraction facts. Um, these would be like dictating numbers to write, like in the Apple, row in box number one, write the number five, kind of practice writing numbers like that and listening skills. Here's the fact house practice. So this would be for the five family. They would start filling in zero plus five equals five, one plus four, and then so on. And they would practice fives and sixes. More addition and subtraction. Let's see, using um, understanding the place value for hundreds, tens, and ones. I know there's dot to dots in here, counting money, um, and there's clocks. There's some fun things in here. So I like these to use with kindergarten, but I also pull them out for my kids in other grades if they just need a practice sheet day, or sometimes I'll pull it out for Jackson, my toddler, who just wants to color on one. So that's our Rod and Staff kindergarten curriculum. So let me know if you liked it. Please like and subscribe this video if you wanna see more like this and stay tuned next week to hear about our music appreciation. Thank you so much.